Hey guys, welcome back to another Vox Edit video. <clears throat> so today I'm just going to do a quick animation with you. And it's very easy to follow along with. And you will be able to use this in anything that you want, like flashing. So for instance, a flashing light on a Christmas tree, um, <clears throat> any kind of pulse or something like that you can use. So let's go ahead. I'm going to create a new asset. Uh, I just want to put it in one of my folders that I've got already. So go ahead and name it Heart. In this case, in your case, you name it whatever you want. Um, okay, and then you're going to just go and go ahead and make a new VXM. <coughs> and then once you've done that, it will load up for my for my one. I'm just going to import one that I've done already. So I've made a heart, okay, and so if you do a new VXM, you come in and you get this space. Go ahead and make whatever you want in that space that you want flashing. Uh, as you can see, the dimensions now, I'm just going to reduce it, and it's 27 by 21 by 16. That's the size of the heart, okay. Once we're happy with it, and you're happy with your design, save it. Now in here, click on the three dots, create a child note. Type in heart, and now we're going to drag the heart into that node, and there you can see it on the floor. And there we go. Now, to make the flashing one, what we're going to do is copy this layer. We're going to call it beat. In this case, it's going to be a heartbeat. And now we're going to go and edit this one. So all you're going to do here is color it choose the paint tool, uh, give it a color, and then turn this little star on, which will brighten the color. There you go. Uh, I'm just going to give it a bright color like this one. Now click on the back key again. Now we're going to click yes to save it. And now we have two hearts. So over here, click on these again, click create child node, and we're going to type in beat. And then we're just going to drag the beat in over there. There we go. And then we can see it down there, exactly matching the heart as well. Okay. Now you're going to notice two things. And we're going to take this through another step. So when you do the animation, the second heartbeat is the flashing one is a bit too bright. So it's going to take up all of the uh, all of the the exposure. Um, now. First of all, you want to create a new animation. We're going to call this beat. There we go. And now we click on the beat itself, not on the heart. So we click on the heart. We don't want the heart animating. We want the beat animating. So first things first, on this little line here, what you want to do is drag it all the way out. And then you start seeing your seconds, okay? Now there's 24 frames in a second, but we just want this one really short, a little heartbeat. So we're going to bring it up to about seven points here. And from this point now, we're going to bring it back one like that. Now, if we press the space bar, you can see it pulls in. Okay, but it's a bit glitchy looking, okay? Now to fix that, you don't have to worry about doing anything here. Just go back into edit on your beat one and then click the face tool, click the eraser tool and then just delete some of the, well, we won't delete the face. I'll tell you what we'll do. I'm just going to turn around the back of it and delete some of the back and just make it a little bit thinner like this. Take the top off and leave the sides, I think. Okay, a little bit thinner like that. We're going to leave the pattern on the front because we want that to pulse through. So we're going to go back, save it again, and we can see it's already been adjusted in our frame. Okay, so once again, just zoom in on the area. And now you want to position the timeline frame back up here again. And then move, click on the, on the heartbeat and then just move it. Zoom in a bit. Okay. 
Okay, just move it to your liking. You can see it's still the same width on, on either side. Just want to bring it back a little bit here like this. And now press spacebar again. And you can see it pulsing. Okay, it's not coming through enough, maybe for me. So again, just going to click the beat. And we're just going to pull it forward a little bit more. This time covering all the exposed areas on the actual heart itself. Whoops, slight mistake there. So Control Z. Right, the mistake I made was I left the arrow on the timeline here, so I would have marked the, the that beat again in that point. So I'll just go back to the big end again, and now move it. Maybe a little bit more. Just move it forward a bit so you can't see the heart behind. Okay, now press spacebar. Okay, now you can see too much of it, so we're going to go back to the beginning. The timeline, and we're going to push the heart back, the beat back in. Now click spacebar, and you can see it coming forward now, flashing nicely. Now, if it's a bit too fast for you, all you have to do is click here, and then drag your timeline up just as far as you want, and then you can see the speed changing. Okay, now if you want to add a pulse or something, something like a little dun, dun then you can probably come up to this point here, and now any adjustment you make, it will mark it on the timeline here. So if we go back one here, and then press spacebar and see what happens. You can see it beating now, as it would. Okay, and then you can stretch each piece in individually. So you can stretch this one right down, and then you can extend this one right away up as well. And then you have a whole different sequence. Well, I think for this example, we're just going to keep it a little bit quicker. Okay, so once you're happy and your heart's done, okay, go ahead and save it. Now you can do that two ways, file, save as, and then save it as a new heartbeat. Uh, I've got mine saved already. And then if you want to export it, you just click um, export and then go to export to marketplace and upload it to your profile on the sandbox game. Um, one thing to remember as well that when you let me just go and show you so export to marketplace I think it's important to do this um, because we named the animation ourselves at the top here you want to make sure your animation is default and it's set to beat and then choose your profile picture and just export it I'm just going to do it anyway just click new and I'm just going to call it Red Heart 2 because I've got two of these up here already, but I might keep this one anyway as well. Um, and then it says Animation Default Beat. See, you don't get a chance to change it here, so you must do it in the previous step like I showed you. Uh, and then No Behaviors, click Continue. And you can choose up to three categories here, but because it's a heartbeat, it's not really in any category, so you can just choose like Sci-Fi or something like that. Choose Sandbox. Go to Continue. And there we have it. Okay, it's glitchy looking here. But don't worry, it's just the way we're moving it around. And now, if you go to your profile, go to inventory. And we should see it here somewhere. I've got a few. I've got rotating pulse. Red heart, I think it's red heart we call it, didn't we? Uh, yeah, there it is. So now, just click on the plus sign. And it's gone to your inventory at, over at Game Maker. So go and sign into Game Maker and upload it into your room on your land and see how it performs. We'll get back to that in a minute. All right. But thanks for watching. Hope you've learned something. Hope you followed along. And if you've got any comments, please like, comment, subscribe, all the rest of it. Thanks very much for supporting my channel. And I'll see you all again in the next video. Take care. Goodbye.